strong. Hey there, Kim here. Welcome back. Today is a 30 minute kettlebell superset workout. I'll be using a single kettlebell and a mat for the equipment today. So go ahead, grab what you need and let's get started. Let's warm up first. So start with your feet underneath your hips. Take a deep breath, reach it up. Exhale, bend your knees, sweep the floor with your hands and come on up, get nice and tall. Really reach it, lengthening out that spine. Three. One more. Nice work, bring those hands behind your back, interlace your fingers and open up that chest. And right here, we're gonna take a heel dig and hinge it forward. Stretching out through the back of the thighs, opening up your chest. Let's lock that belly button in. So pull it towards your spine, keeping a nice strong core three. And last one from here, arms up overhead and just squat it down. Good, really pushing the hips forward at the top of this movement. Pull the arms back, loosen up those shoulders. Three, two, and reverse directions. Good, let's take that arm and reach to the side wall, come up on the toe, get nice and long through the back. Come on down to a nice lateral lunge and just shift your weight from side to side, opening up those inner thighs. Take your hand now, reach down and touch your toe. Get Just a quick four minute warm up to get that body prepared. Four, three, two, Last one, step it up, grab your kettlebell. And we're gonna go around the world, so place your feet together. We're gonna pass that kettlebell in front of the body, take it around. Good, two, and stop. Take it the other direction behind. Nice. Last two, and last one. Take your feet slightly apart. We're gonna hinge, slight bend in the knee, come down into a deadlift. Squeeze your glutes at the top. Good. We got about 30 seconds left of this warm up. this last one we're gonna come up clean down clean just grabbing onto the side of the handles of your kettlebell nice straight back here drive your hips back 10 seconds three two and last one place that kettlebell down we're gonna start so the first Super set, we're gonna do a sumo deadlift with a clean, then we'll squat and press. All right, then we're gonna go into a traditional two-handed swing. So that's our first super set. Get yourself in position, toes are pointing out. All through this workout, there's no repeats. We're gonna be supersetting a strength exercise with some type of a swing. All right, working 30, 40 seconds on. Are you ready? Hinge at your hips, come on down, clean. Squat and press. Good, repeat. 
squat, press. Hinge here, clean it, come down and press. So it's a deadlift first, clean, squat, you got this. Almost there. Good job. All right, we're gonna go into the traditional swing. So get that kettlebell in front of you, stepping back, feet pointing forward. Hinge at your hips, bend your knees, come low, and pop through your hip. We wanna keep that back straight, drive that tailbone behind us. Seven seconds. And drop it down. Take a little rest. All right, moving on. We are going to go into a kneeling press. So we're gonna come clean that kettlebell. You're gonna come down onto your knees, all the way down and up and press, okay? We're gonna stay on that side. So kettlebell between your feet. Toes pointing forward, clean, down, press. Good. Really pull that elbow in, tuck it in, and push. it up. We got four seconds. We're gonna do a single hand swing on this side. Good. Lower it down. Whew. Toes pointing forward. We're gonna swing with our right hand. Here we go. Hinge. Pop through the hip. Pop in six. Drop it down. Whew, another rest. We're going to repeat on the other side. So, what we're doing, if you haven't noticed the format yet, 30 seconds, 40 seconds, 10 second transition, 40 seconds work, and we get a 30 second recovery. All right, so remember we're cleaning, rocking on the left side this time, repeating everything we just did. Turn your handles in. Hinge at your hips. Come on down, bend the knees. Swing it into a clean position. Here we go. Down, press. All right, wrong knee. Left knee, left arm. Push. All the way down. Keep that kettlebell right in the crook of your arm here. And then push up. Good. You're almost there. Two. Good. Kettlebell down, getting ready for that single hand swing. Stepping back, hinge at your hips, grab that kettlebell, pull it towards you, pop it up. So I'm swinging with a nice straight back.
Elbows there. 10 seconds. Drop it down. Ah, grab some water if you need to. Moving on to our next super set. We're gonna do a lunge with a pass through and I'm gonna be doing a reverse lunge. So we're gonna pick up the kettlebell in a suitcase position. All right, so hinge down, grab that kettlebell. We're gonna lunge back. As we do, we pass that kettlebell underneath. Come back up. Lunge with the other leg, pass, all right? All right, you get about six seconds. Grab onto that kettlebell. We're lunging here. Down, pass, and up. And up. Try to keep that chest lifted as you lunge down. Nice work. We're going to alternate hand swing. So just switching at the top of that swing. Come on down. We're going to grab with one hand, pull it into the one handed swing, then switch at the top. Good. Keep that form. Nice straight back, hinging. Nice work. You got dynamite. That smile's going to be the end of me. Eight seconds. Stay strong to the end. You're getting a break. All right, here, place that kettlebell down. We're going to go into a split stance row. And then we're going to do a split stance. Uh, suitcase swing. Sorry, my brain stopped. All right, so you probably haven't seen me do this one before. So we're going to stand sort of with one leg back, a staggered stance. You're going to grab that kettlebell just like we did with that suitcase. All right, then we're going to swing here. That'll be our staggered. So let's go into a split stance. One foot beside the kettlebell, one foot back, slight bend in the knee. Come on down and we're gonna row. Good, keep those shoulders in line with each other. Nice straight back, belly button in. We're gonna be keeping this position with our hand on our kettlebell for our swing coming up. Eight seconds. You are all that I see. You got dynamite. That smile's gonna be the end of me. Good, drop it down. Split stance. So one leg or stagger stance. One leg is slightly back. The other one's forward. Grab that kettlebell and swing. You got dynamite. That smile's gonna be the end of me. Same movement through the hips. Alright, we've just got one leg behind. And We've turned our handle on the kettlebell. You're doing great. Seven seconds. Stay strong. Whew. Good, lower it down. Take a breath, we're gonna repeat that now on the other side, all right? So grab water if you need to and get yourself into position for that row. Left foot on the inside of that kettlebell. Stepping back, we're in a staggered stance, so almost like a deadlift, but we're not coming up. We're gonna just stay in that bent position. 
You got 15 seconds. How are you feeling? All right, if you're not already set up, make sure you're set up and ready for the movement. Hinge at your hips, keep your bent, knees slightly bent. Pick up that kettlebell and row. Really tuck that elbow in beside you and extend out. Three more supersets to get through, and we're finished. Six, five. Good, drop it down. Get yourself in a staggered position. So right leg is back, left leg forward. There we go. Suitcase, swing. Five seconds. You're almost there. You get a break coming up. Keep it going. And drop your kettlebell. All right, last three exercises. Grab your water. Come on back when you're ready. We're gonna do a bottoms up squat. So just meaning the bell is going to be facing up. We're gonna be holding on to the, the handles. When you're ready, kettlebell's in front of you. You come on down, clean. Flip it over, all right? So bottoms up. You got 15 seconds, take your rest. This is it. Final push, right to the end, all right. Come on down, clean it, flip it. Tuck those elbows in. Here we go, nice and low in that squat. Butt back. Keep that kettlebell really close to the body. Again, pull that belly button in. Keep your abdominals nice and strong. Squeeze the glutes at the top of the movement. We're gonna do a rotational swing coming up. Eight seconds. Three. Good, lower it down. So, rotational. We're gonna be coming up on that toe, driving our hips side to side. Pick up your kettlebell. Here we go, swing it. Good. Keep your body nice and straight. Seven seconds. All right, let's bring that kettlebell down to the floor. We're gonna do some staggered push-ups. So we're gonna turn that kettlebell so it's flat. One hand will be on the kettlebell, one hand on the floor. You're gonna push up, and we're gonna move over and switch sides. Feel free to do this either on your toes or on your knees. That's up to you. But make sure you're keeping that back nice and straight. Your core is strong. Get yourself ready. Last four moves. You're almost done. We're gonna do a stretch at the end. We've got eight seconds. All right, if you're going up on your toes, think nice long plank. Head in line with your tailbone. Here we go. Drop, then walk it over. Switch sides. Trying to get that chest low to the ground if you can.
drop to your knees. Put that kettlebell back up. Come up to a standing position. We're gonna do a moving swing. All right, so similar to a regular swing, but we're gonna be taking a step to the side. So swing, step, good. Nice work. Ten seconds. Rest is coming up, then we're on our last two. You're almost there. Good job. Place it down. All right, last two exercises. We're gonna start on the floor. Whew. So again, on our breaks, do what you need to do. Get that heart rate down. We're gonna come down into a press up with a glute bridge. All right, so here I'm gonna be holding on to the bell of the kettlebell. We're going to press up at the same time as we glute bridge. So we push and down. Really trying to drive those hips up. Pushing through the heels of your feet. Here we go. Up and back. Squeeze. Tuck those elbows right beside the body. There it is, kettlebell on the floor, come on up. We're gonna do double hand single swing. So, kettlebell in front, we're gonna go into our basic swing, and then we're gonna place it back on the ground. Swing, hip hinge, down. Good, you want that kettlebell in front of you. This is the final exercise. Bend those knees, hips back. Three seconds, two, and one kettlebell down. Nice work, you did it. We're gonna do a really quick stretch cool down here. So just take your feet side to side. Drive those hips out to the side. Take a deep breath in. Good, we wanna cool it down. So inhale the arms up and out beside you. Inhale up. One more. Nice work. Hands behind your back. Open up that chest. From here, take your feet out nice and wide. Toes out. We're gonna hinge forward with our chest to the floor. Up. This time, turn your toes in, heels out, hands on your hips. Come on down. I move my kettlebell. You can stay here. You can have your hands on the floor. You can bend your elbows, whatever feels good. Lift yourself up, come down one knee at a time. And we're gonna get those hip flexors and the quads. So stagger those knees, hands behind you, hips up towards the ceiling, really pressing up. Let your head fall back. It feels good to do that. Whew. As we come up, we're just gonna follow the line of our knee, come around, drop down onto your elbow. Slowly 
unwind, take that back leg and cross it over the front. We'll get into the glutes here, so wrap the left hand around. Right knee, pull the knee towards you, sit up tall. Take the other hand behind you and then use it to drive your spine nice and straight, looking over the shoulder. side. So first let's get into the quads. Hands behind you, hips up. out. Let's get the glutes on this side. Wrap that left arm around your right knee. I feel I already did this side. Other side. <laughs> it's still morning for me right now, so inhale up. Those heels together, finish the stretch off with a nice inner thigh stretch. Drop your knees, sit up tall. Nice deep breath in. That's it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the workout. If you're new here and haven't done so, think about subscribing. You're getting workouts Monday, Wednesday, and Friday every week. All right, bring those knees together. Give yourself a nice big hug. Sit up nice and tall. That's it, guys. Great job. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one.